Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new feature in Oracle SQL Developer version 19.2 that helps you take your Oracle style joins and convert them to the ANSI standard way of defining joins. And I'm also going to show you how to go in the opposite way. So from ANSI joins over to Oracle style joins. So in Oracle style join, the join is defined in the where clause. Inner and outer joins are denoted with this plus in a uh, parentheses on the side of the uh, join. So this would be left versus over here it would be right. And I'm basically asking for, um, in this case, a list of departments and employees. And I'm joining on department ID. And I want to see the list of departments, even if there aren't any employees assigned to that department. And here are my departments with no employees attached. So I have no one in junk, payroll, recruiting, but I have plenty of people in finance, sales, and so on. So what I'd like to do is see what this looks like when I'm running it um, with the other style of join. And normally I would write this by hand, but instead I'm going to select the text, right click and say refactor and toggle ANSI Oracle. So now what I have is I have an actual uh, join clause. Um, actually we start from the first table employees and I'm saying right join on departments and then on the two columns in play. And if I pin this and run the query again. I have the second result set. And this isn't exactly a legitimate test, but I could count rows here, 123, count rows here, 123. So they're probably the same. They should be the same anyway. I can also select this again and hit the refactor again, and it goes back to the way I originally wrote the query. So I'm not here to tell you which way is better. I grew up in the world of Oracle, and so I'm used to writing my queries this way. I know when I share code online, I often get some uh, grief from folks that are used to seeing it in the other style, but SQL Developer now makes it easy for you to write the SQL any which way you want, and then you can format it and refactor it to the style that's most pleasing to your customers and end users. Just to remind you, this is available in version 19.2 and higher. Thanks and uh, happy SQL diving out there.